hello guys today in this video we're gonna see how to make the cute turntable torch animation this video was separated into three parts for your convenience okay uh, the first part is the modeling part the second is the texturing and the third is the rendering process okay okay without further ado let's model our torch first okay then the turntable then the backdrop okay we gonna delete the no, we don't want to delete the default cube. We're going to add modifiers as subdivision surface. Okay, fine. Then crank it a bit up too. Okay, fine. Then we're going to use cast to modifier to cast into a spear. Press one on the factor. It will be a perfect spear. Then we're going to go to vertex mode. Okay. Um, in the vertex mode, we're going to go to the edit mode. Okay, fine. We want to apply the modifiers to access the geometry so i'm gonna apply the modifiers go to the vertex mode press t go to wireframe then i'm going to delete which is fine we're gonna end up with this spear okay with this semi spear okay mm, fine okay we're gonna do to go to solid view okay then we're gonna add some subdivision surface to make it look smooth and cool crank it a bit up then gonna shade auto smooth it looks really really cool okay fine then we're gonna add a cylinder okay cylinder rotate along the x-axis on 90 degree then gonna scale on shift y okay fine then gonna grab on y-axis grab on z okay fine cool grab on y-axis a little bit to make this handle going inside the semi spear okay fine then i'm gonna press right click shade auto smooth that's really really fine okay we're gonna getting the torches torch look okay then we want to add some handle over the chop so okay fine so okay we're gonna add that okay by going to the object mode shift a then go to cube scale it up here grab on y-axis grab on z press 3 scale on z-axis grab on z-axis okay fine <laughs> we're gonna grab on the y-axis a little bit then scale it down on the z-axis then scale it down on the x-axis okay fine then grab and Z fine it want to be merged mm. we're gonna grab on Y axis grab on Z cool so it was immersed in this place this whole cube this cubes whole uh, this side face was immersed in that okay fine then go to the face mode then gonna grab on y fine 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 scale on x axis scale on z axis okay the handle want to do wanted to be tapered down okay so like that grab on z it wanted to be a curved down okay fine okay grab on c fine so in this we're gonna get the half torch looking like thing we're gonna control r to add an edge loop here then modify it by scaling it up here okay then i'm gonna make sure grab on c axis Fine. The torch is end near the semi sphere wanna to be large. Okay, fine. This wanna to be short. Okay, fine. Hmm, okay. Then we're gonna do as gonna face more. Then gonna extrude this up here. Then gonna extrude this down here. Fine. We're gonna get the handle. Okay. 
go to the edge select mode okay i'm gonna go to the edge select mode then Z lead to grab it up here sorry we're gonna grab this edge itself we're gonna grab this edge itself we're gonna click this edge then Control b to bevel before beveling i want to apply the scale Control a then scale okay then Control b to bevel fine because we have we want to apply the subdivision after okay so we're gonna select this face and this face then scale on x axis one will be tap out okay fine that's cool okay mm. the bottom wanted to be a little bit more wide so we can go to the edge mode then grab on y no okay just grab on sorry scale on y okay good fine so um okay we're gonna mm -hmm. okay go to wireframe select this all stuff then grab on y axis a bit to the end of the torch fine so um Mm. I'm gonna dissolve this edge because it was not flowing correctly. Control X. Control X. Control X. Control X. Okay, then I'm gonna press join. Then I gotta edge more. Grab on Y. Grab on Z. Grab on Y, which is fine. Then we're gonna control B to be okay. This also wanted to be well, so we're gonna press 3. Then grab, it's gonna be a bit more thicker. Then we're gonna press, press B well. Fine. Okay. Our torches handle and the basement on the torch surface is ready. Okay, fine. We want to combine this both, okay? So, okay, fine. I'm gonna press Control Plus, okay, fine. So I want it to be this, that, Control. Sorry, this and the Control Plus, okay, fine. Okay, the subdivision surface was ran first, then the boolean was called the boolean gets called okay fine this wanted to be okay fine but i wanted to be remeshed this mess because it can cause some issues while modeling so i have the quad remesher add-on which was free for 30 days you can get the trial version remesh it okay what we want to enter the polycom first now I have a, I want to enter some thousand. It's fine. We're gonna test it, remesh it. Hmm, which is fine. The thousand is really really fine. But we're gonna go over something, maybe thousand five hundred. Remesh it. Okay, fine. Mm. Mm. Gonna add a subdivision surface, then crank it a bit up here. It looks really, really awesome. So, don't worry, our torch is fine and cool. Okay. So that is some minor shot artifacts, but it was not visible. So we're gonna crank it up to here, six sixty or maybe boom boom boom. It doesn't work. So sixty is fine. Sorry, sixty is fine. Then we're gonna add this to okay the subdivision to a next more level. It's really really fine. Okay, so the torches the torch basement is really really good and ready we want to add the switch on top so shift a then cube then i scale it up here 
then grab on z axis okay then scale it on x axis okay then grab on y axis okay scale on z grab on z fine cool okay scale on z axis grab on z that's a lot of work okay grab on z axis mm, it looks a way more big than i thought it was scale it mm. okay this is a barrier for the switch okay so grab on z okay we want to add the bevel weight to the edges okay edge more shift z to select similar length okay then we're gonna add the bevel weight main bevel weight of the edges okay then we're gonna add some bevel we want to change the limit method to the weight okay fine we want to apply the scale okay fine we want to reduce the amount holding shift and drag will slowly change the values okay okay fine we're gonna increase the segments okay to wherever you want we can just get six or maybe seven okay then you sorry <laughs> right click shade auto smooth fine so we want to hollow on this part so the face mode i gonna go to this we want to merge this also to that okay so we want to apply the bevel then the face mode insect it up here then we're gonna scale it up here then you're gonna eat to extrude this down okay fine it was really really cool okay then i'm gonna make sure grab on c a little bit up here okay fine then we want to edit the face grab on c down okay fine so we want to add this also to that place we want to union this okay that was really really cool so we want to remesh it with the remesher don't cause any issue yeah it don't cause any issues we're gonna add some subdivision surface to make this look more cool yeah fine um it will it looks way more cool than you think and i think so select this then gonna edge more then i'm gonna select this then gonna select this then i'm gonna wanna increase the mean freeze to make the edges look sturdy enough then nice it was really really cool we're gonna model the switchers okay scale on hex scale on z scale on y grab on z grab on y scale on x fine scale on y grab on y scale on z hmm it's a pretty cool stuff okay hmm okay then scale on z scale on y a bit grab on y the quiet remission tool is really really useful guys i would recommend you to use that so scale on x scale on c okay fine that's a switch it doesn't look like switch yeah of course i know it doesn't look like switch we're gonna make it look like switch by using some of the techniques okay shift s cursor to selector shift a then drop a cube okay then you're gonna scale on z scale on x scale on y fine oh, okay we want to reduce the overall scale grab on z face mm -hmm. more like this face scale on y mm, it's pretty cool 
then we're gonna select this then scale on y okay we're gonna grab on c axis here fine good okay then we're gonna select this cube this cube first then this cube first second then hit ctrl minus to re difference the cube out of this cube if you wanna this is a bull tool add-on okay if, if you want it to work for you you want to go to edit preferences and search for bull tools you want to check this bull tool option i have using other add-ons but bull tool is does exactly the same thing it was free okay so you can only you want to enable that okay then i'm gonna make this okay fine then i'm gonna hide this up here then i want to make sure um, i wanted to separate these switches to go on a top view mm, then i'm gonna shift a then i'm gonna cube then i'm gonna scale this up here i'm gonna grab on c sorry grab on y and make it in the roughly in the middle of the cursor okay grab on y sh hold shift while grabbing it will make a final adjustments okay fine then we're gonna select the cube then select that then control backslash it will separate the piece inside of the cube into a new object and make that into a new object then hide this up here you're gonna have two buttons okay then i'm gonna queue sorry sorry then i'm gonna make sure i want to apply this then i'm gonna make sure i want to apply this then i'm gonna make sure i want to bevel this okay bevel Be oh, before beveling we want to apply the scale then for both also i want to increase the segments then i want to increase this size oh it's clamp overlap so it doesn't express okay but it's enough for us okay shade smooth fine the same modifier wanted to be copied to this cube okay this switch so i want to select this switch first and the and then select the switch which has the modifier okay shift select this then i want to make sure in the beaver tab um in the beaver modifier there's a little drop down icon i'm gonna click this then copy to select it it was copied okay then i'm gonna right click shade auto smooth if you are using your old blender you don't have the shade auto smooth um in which you want to enable shade smooth then you want to go to the normals uh, you want to go to the object data properties under normals you're gonna tick on auto smooth okay so that's fine that's the shade auto smooth does okay fine you have the switches ready um the next thing the only one thing which are, we don't cover is the light bulb okay um so go to the face selection mode so go to the edge mode then I select these edges, then shift D, okay, then I press A, then a P, then by loose pads, then gonna this. This is a separate object. Okay. Stay tuned for the second part. We're gonna finish the model in the second part. Okay guys, until then, bye.